right, so we have made some snakes. Um, and now we're going to make some uh, sawgrass for those snakes to be um, weaving their way through. Uh, and we'll be making a painting. Uh, and then when it dries, we're going to cut these into strips of grass. So we'll get this paper on our messy mat. And the first thing we do is always the same. Take out my pencil and write my name. And you can write your class code through your first letters there. Uh, so this would be BE, that's Byler 3. All right, and then we're gonna do this a little bit differently. We're uh, gonna actually paint with these pieces of cardboard. And this can go two ways. So um, you can just dip in the side like this and just make that grass grow up nice and tall. Okay, and then um, you can leave that if someone else wants to use yellow. Um, and then you can also use the side like this. All right, this is gonna make some nice grass texture. You can even, you know, make a line, longer line or just kind of stamp it. And lay up the different colors of the grass. So we really only have like yellow and green and brown because those are the colors we see in the sawgrass. Okay, you can make it, you know, if it's just brown and yellow, that would be kind of the dry season of the sawgrass, but if it's the wet season, then we would have probably a little more green showing, right? And you can also kind of, you could do some fun things like this, do a little bit of mixing. Okay, we want to get all of that white paper covered up so it's completely looks like grass. Okay. Good. Not all the grass goes straight, right? Sometimes it goes across. You can even take this and mix a little bit, right? Okay. And then when I'm done, you know, I pick up my messy mat like a lunch tray so with your painting on it and take that to the drying rack 